Welcome friends to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at tree shaking in Webpack 4. Uh, to do this, we're going to use the Lodash package, the Lodash ES package, which is an EX6 module, which um, allows tree shaking to occur easier. Um, we'll use the bundle analyzer for Webpack as a plugin, um, so that should give us a nice visual representation of our, our, our package and, and what's actually been included in it. Um, just to briefly describe tree shaking, um, it's the process of getting rid of any unused um, code from your final bundle that you uh, distribute. So, you know, it's going to reduce the size, less bytes over the wire, much faster. So it's, it's very um, important to be able to do, and it's something that Webpack does for us. It did it in Webpack 3. Um, does it better I think in webpack 4 we're going to take a look at it now um, so yeah let's dive in let's um, I've got visual studio code here so if I just create uh, an index file here and we'll import um, we'll start off by importing the whole of low dash so we'll do port low dash um, from low-es. Um, what I'm going to do is just create a couple of strings and use low-dash to manipulate them just so we can see uh, what we're using in our package. Um, so say this is the tree and then we'll have another string that we're going to append to it. This is the tree shape Shaking with pack demo. So if I just put a space on the end there, um, and then we'll do the last one, which is x plus y and z. Now, rather than getting console.log going here, I'm just going to use quacker, which lets us um, see an instant um, output of our variables. Um, it's just moaning about low dash at the moment. So let's add um, low dash es. I just need to have that line. Okay, now we should see this light up and give us the value of z. So there it is. This is the tree shaking where demo. There's a space between tree and shaking. Um, and when we use the, we use the trim function in here. Um, and we'll just take that out just to, to show that working. But for now, let's create our webpack config. Config.js. Um, so module exports. So we're just going to have a very basic um, index.js and output. Output, output, and that will just be main.js. As I mentioned, we're going to use the bundle analyzer as a plugin. Um, so let's create a plugins section. So and I've actually got it here just to speed things up. So if I pop that in there. Then we want to create a new one of these. And I just want to bring that in as well. So the yarn add webpack bundle analyzer. Um, as soon as we've got that, we should be able to do a build, I think. Webpack. So we'll do a development build. I'll just Give it save there. Okay, and then I'll move that over to the left. So, right, so let's have a look. If you would just stay over the left, please. Thank you. Okay, get rid of that. Right, now. We can see our main.js bundle here. It has imported, as we asked it to, the whole of Lodash. Um, let's have a look at the 
the size here is 2.6 meg so a lot of stuff and we're not using we're not using any of it um, but that is on a development build um, let's do it on a production build all right quite a difference um, 566 bytes so webpack has looked at our code here and determined that we are not using anything from Lodash so it's just omitted it completely from our bundle um, so let's now um, include the trim method so we should see our um, space disappear so tree shaking is one word now proves we're using it um, and if I do a development build again and we look at our bundle so again we've got the whole thing so webpack doesn't do any tree shaking on a development build we can see that there if I do a production one on this now so it's not as small as before we're definitely bringing something in we're bringing trim in and we're bringing its dependent modules in uh, if you look at the size it's on 3.26 so you know the difference here is webpack has said right you're you're using trim but only trim so we'll bring in trim and its dependencies um, and again it only it only does that um, on uh, on the production build um, so yeah it doesn't it doesn't make any difference what you import you know if I if I just imported trim here uh, and save that off and we look at that in if I just get rid of that it should help and we look at that again in production then you can see we've got the same thing still 3.26 so you know it's not it's not up to you to only bring in what you want to use as long as um, you know if you don't use any of it it won't get included if you use whichever parts you use will get brought in so you don't have to think about it really you can just bring the whole package in um, and you will be tree um, tree shaken down to a small size so pretty yeah pretty good that by by webpack um, okay there you go hope that was uh, hope that was informative thanks very much bye